Welcome back. The long anticipated change from dry La Nina conditions toward a wetter El Nino pattern is happening. El Nino officially began today according to NOAA forecasters in their monthly update. Take a look at this. Warmer than normal ocean surface waters have been present out in the eastern Pacific for a while, but now that warm ocean water is starting to influence the atmospheric weather patterns, and that's when El Nino is officially declared. That triggered the declaration today. Now, a bit of a word of caution. El Nino officially starting today, of course, doesn't mean that the lakes are going to fill up tomorrow. It doesn't actually affect our summer weather that much much usually, but by winter and fall, it really will. Look at this. The last October rainy season, we had an El Nino pattern in place. It was October 2018. Flooding rain fell in the hill country, causing the Llano River to surge to its second highest level on record. Water surging into the Highland Lakes from the Llano and also upstream from Lake Buchanan converged on Lake LBJ, flooding homes and wiping out the 2900 bridge. Boats and docks were flowing over the Max Starkey Dam and all of the cloudiness of that muddy water. You remember it triggered an Austin boil water notice for a full week. Look at that.